morning, Miss Cackle. Good morning, Miss Hardroom. Lovely morning. Night. Oh, HP's gonna yell at me. I just know she is. Better sneak this in with us then. But that's cheating. Right. Come along, girls. Come along. Hurry up. Come on, come on, come on. No textbooks, Maud. Either you know it or you don't. You can't fake a potion. She's got X-ray eyes. The potion for today is the laughter potion. <gasps> Work that. quietly and only with your partner. Two to a cauldron. You have exactly three minutes. You may begin. I never dreamed she'd give us the laughter potion. I've never seen her love. We're not gonna pass. I just know it. No, I know we need toad boots and lizard eyes. It's turning pink. Good. What color's the others? Can't see. Pondweed. That's right! And we gathered at midnight. How much? Oh, I'm not sure. Just throwing a handful. Oh, two handfuls. <laughs> Throw in the lot. You should be finished by now, girls. A laughter potion should be made quickly in case it's needed in an emergency. You may take a small sip of the potion to test it. Not too much. We don't want hysterics. Apples is pink. Ours is green. No. Well, we can't chicken out now. Thumbs up. Number two. You seem to have made the wrong spell. Control yourself, Dawn. Have you any idea what you did wrong, Mildred? It was my fault, Miss Harper. No, it was my fault, Miss Harper. I don't care whose fault it was. Sit still until you reappear. Yes, Miss Harper. You. 
will go straight to Miss Cackle's office and explain exactly why you have failed your potion test so miserably. <laughs> Class dismissed. <laughs> and remember to turn your Bunsen burners off. <laughs> Sorry, Maud. I didn't mean to get you into trouble. Oh, that's all right. It wasn't your fault, anyway. Yes, it was. It was the pond weed that messed everything up. I didn't gather it at midnight. It was sort of after midnight. Oh, Mildred. Sorry. Your boots are mine. Must be mine. Laces are undone. That's what? My boots come over here. Remarkable spell. If only we knew how we did it. It would be one of those stories. You know, the ones we tell our grandchildren. <laughs> if I live to have any. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Oh, come in, come in. No, 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 not you, Donna. Hello. Sit where you like, Mildred. There. You're calling from your broom. Oh, she's just got a phone installed on her broom and she's showing off of it. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, yes, Donna. I'll expect you any moment. Goodbye, Donna. That was Donna, my niece. Now, Mildred. What can I do for you? Miss Hardbroom sent me. Oh, dear. What happened this time? I made the wrong potion. And? Instead of laughing, I disappeared. Really, Mildred, I don't know what to say. My words seem to go in one ear and out the other. I do try, Miss Cackle. It's just that everything always goes wrong. I understand. But it's your first year here, and you've got to apply yourself better. If you don't pass your first term exams, you'll never get your witch's junior certificate. Oh, dear, Mildred. Oh, dear, dear, dear. You must be the worst witch in the entire school. I'll try harder. Please do. I don't want to hear any more bad reports about you. You won't. Good. Now, was I nasty enough for you? Good. Now run along and, and do remember what I said. Oh. Donna's arrived. She'll be 136 next month, and she still acts like a teenager. Oh, dear, dear, dear. I had a little accident, but I'm OK. Bye. Hey, Auntie. Sorry about the window. Who is it? It's Donna. Miss Cackle's niece. All right, girls, back to your studies. Mildred, run along. My Donna. <laughs> Got a problem. What problem? Specifically. I just think I'll never make it as a witch. Oh, Mill, don't worry. It's only your first year here. Miss Hardbroom hates me. Miss Hardbroom hates everyone. I heard that she was once madly in love with the chief wizard. Yeah, but a prettier witch cast a spell over him. And every time he looked at HB, he thought she was a slimy frog. 
Imagine kissing that. Imagine kissing HB. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> I would think, after your disastrous performances today, you should hardly be spreading disgusting gossip about matters which do not concern you. Yes, Miss Ardham. And you had both better pay much more attention to your studies if you ever hope to graduate from this institution. The finest witches' academy in the world. Yes, Miss Hardbroom. Now get back to bed. Pleasant nightmare. Listen to them, Delilah. How dare they? They've changed my school song. Could never mind, Mr. Sackerfer. Soon it'll all be yours. All of it. <laughs> Was mine by birth, mine, before my sister stole it. Ah, she was always Mom's favorite. I was jealous of me. What did I care? I hated her. Come on. singing girls and now I have a wonderful surprise for you the special guest for our Halloween celebrations this year is to be are you ready the Grand Wizard oh! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. it is very exciting but we've got a lot to do before then we, uh, 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 exactly what is it we have to do announcements oh yes announcements yeah, uh, we've come home just in the nick of time. Did you see him? They're barely witches at all. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Wait till I get my hands on them. Miss mm. <laughs> 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 Harbroom would like me to remind you that there is absolutely no flying in the corridor. Now, we have... Oh. Dear. Yeah. Now, according to tradition, we present to each of the first-year girls her very own kitten. There was a time when I was a girl when witches were persecuted, reviled, and burned at the stake. It was Magdalena Cackle, my mother, who had the courage to fight for the formal education of witches. She was the first witch's liver. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Must get to the point. The kittens. The kittens. I'm very 
very proud to present the very first kitten to the girl who has received the greatest number of merit points and achieved the highest grades on all her subjects so far, Ethel Hallow. And now, for the rest of the first years, Dawn. Time to execute the plan. But what plan, mistress? Well, we've got one plan, dingbat. Oh, the takeover of the school plan. Yes, that plan. By the end of the week, the girls will be busy preparing for their Halloween celebration, and that's when we attack. Attack? Mm, how exciting! Attack! <laughs> take control of the entire academy and turn all those good little girls into mean, horrible, cruel little witches. <laughs> and I'll bring back my school song. Oh, oh, yeah. My sister's taking all the fun out of being tired. <sighs> Feed on it, Delilah. Scale a dragon, tooth of wolf. Drop the tooth, the bottomless gold. Venomous viper, come to us. Covered with evil, ooze and fuss. We just love the wicked and worst of all nature's things. They come first. So if you feel free, Especially with bad things lurk. All day long we frolic and fly. Turn people into clay. <laughs> Anyone that we still hate, we pickle and serve them on a plate. So if you feel Sorry, darling. We ran out of black ones. We could paint him. Meow. Her. Oh, no. She's so sweet. <laughs> and now, the first years will take their kittens and train them to balance on their broomsticks. Oh, I'm calling my midnight. What are you going to call yours? Blackie. How can you call it Blackie? Because it isn't. Oh, it might get a complex. Yeah. Oh, well. I'll call it Tabby, then. Ethel, you all Doesn't Ethel Hannah make you sick? Yeah. Just like her to be the first one to get her kitten to ride. Look at Pixies. Isn't she cute? Can you see? 
I spell by night? Not yet. Look at mine. Isn't she a darling? There. Here we go, Tabby. Look at her. Mildred's got her kitten in her satchel. Here she comes. Oh, isn't she it's wonderful? Oh, yes. You cheated. Isn't she amazing? Oh, yes. I'll tell you. Morning, girls. Please, Miss Spellbinder. Mildred Hubble was cheating. Her kitten was riding in her satchel. Mildred, come here. Mildred, the kittens are supposed to ride on the broom. I know, Miss Spellbinder. It's just that Tabby finds it so difficult. Of course it's difficult. That's why we're here, to learn. However, for the time being, your kitten's allowed to ride in your satchel. Mm. Now, class, watch me, please. Today, we are going to continue our flying lessons. Now, I shall demonstrate first. Find your balance, give her a tap, and away we go. Problems with that one. No, which one? Mildred Hubble. She's a basket case. Oh. What about the rest of the first years? The usual mixture. The Hallow family seems to have come up with another winner. Mm. Which one this time? Ethel. She's obviously going to be top in everything, just like her sisters. Broom sticks up again. It's a funny thing about that Hallow family. Never cared for them much. That Mrs. Hallow, such a pushy witch. At least she has something to push. Ethel Hallow shows promise. Mildred Hubble, anything but. Oh, give the girl a chance, Hardbroom. 
It's only her first term. I have a nose for trouble, Cackle. Mark my words, Mildred Hubble will never graduate as a witch from this academy. I think I'm in love. Me too. It makes me feel all squishy <laughs> inside. Don't you ever worry that you're just not cut out to be a witch? No, my family were all witches. I never doubted for a moment that I'd be one too. Oh, stop worrying. It only makes things worse. <sighs> Don't worry. I, I question. My mother always wanted to be a witch, but she didn't have the gift. It's not that I want to be the best. I'm just so tired of being the worst. Oh, don't be so gloomy. You're doing fine. Really, you are. No. Oh. Look out, girls. Here's Mildred. The disaster area. Don't listen to her, Mill. You shut up, Ethel Hello. <laughs> Hubble, you messy little witch. I've got a three-year-old brother who's neater than you. Oh, shut up, Ethel. Do you want some more bug juice now? Yes, please. Oh. 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 oh, sorry. Oh. She's oh, my goodness. She's bleeding. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. She's bleeding. She's bleeding. Mildred. Mildred Hubble, the disaster area. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie. Gloria. Verity. Misty. Spinner. Maud. You're sure you know how to play terror tag? Everyone knows how to play terror tag. You're not everyone. Hurry up, Ethel. Hurry up, Ethel. Choose. We haven't got all day. All right. I choose bubbles. Mildred. The object of the game is to try and scare the other girls. Oh, we know. I shall keep the score. Every girl you make scream counts as one point for your team. Right? Reds, off you go. Blues, start counting. Mildred Hubble, a point to the Reds. Why did you do that? I was only practicing, dum dum. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
Oh, you're such a bad loser. You better watch out, Ethel. Watch out? <laughs> Is that a threat? Better shut up. Or, or what? Or I'll, I'll turn you into a frog. A frog? You turn me? <laughs> you don't even know the beginner's spells, let alone ones like that. No, you're just like that ridiculous kitten of yours. A total misfit. Go on, then. Turn me into a frog. I dare you. Come on, you Come on, you do it. What are you waiting for, smarty pants? Go on, try. Manga, 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 moo. Swinger, 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 voo. Ephistophilus, Mrs. Magoo. What are you waiting for? Double trouble. I'm not through. Hum, tum, ugly face, a goblin's beer. Pathetic. Ethel Hallow will disappear to croak and swim in yonder bog. Ethel Hallow is now a fraud! It was! It was! It was. Oh, gone. Not quite! Look! <laughs> It is stupid. Sounds like it, though. Sounds like it. Yes, sounds like it. I'll get you for this, Mildred Hubble. Just you wait. I didn't mean to turn you into a pig. I meant to turn you into a... I didn't think I could do it at all. You asked for it, Ethel. Always picking on poor Mildred. Sorry enough. It serves you right. Turn me back. Come on. A one sea wall, a length. No, it's no use, Ethel. I can't. <laughs> you idiot! What is this animal doing here? And where is Ethel? I am Ethel, Mildred Hubble. Turn me into a pig. Is that true? I didn't mean to. She did. Well, Mildred. Please, Miss Hardbroom, make her turn me back. Stop snorting, Ethel. This should be a learning experience for us all. Turn her back. <laughs> I don't know how. Don't know how? Well... I tried saying the spell backwards, but it, it didn't work. Of course not. Anybody could be a witch if that's all it took. A witch must be in control of her magic at the peak of her potency. I suggest you go to the library and look up reversal spells and take that... Um, Ethel, Miss Hardbroom. Ethel with you. And on the way, tell Miss Bat she will be late for chanting class. Mildred Hubble. Come on, Ethel. You're hopeless. Mildred Hubble. I told you Miss Bat was down here. Yes, Mildred, what is it? Oh, Miss Bat, Miss Hardman told me to tell you that Ethel will be late for chanting. All right, Mildred, off you go now. Sorry, Miss Bat. Don't be so sensitive. It's all very well for you to say that. You're used to people making fun of you. I thought they weren't laughing at you, you know. It was just that they didn't expect to see a pig. I don't believe you. There was something else as well, wasn't there? Well, the smell kind of upset them, too. How dare you say I smell? Oh, I'm sorry, Ethel. I didn't mean that you smell. I just meant that, well, you know, pigs smell. I think you're horrid. I'm sorry. I'm really upset now. Ethel. I know how you must feel, but please, don't be so sensitive.
It's the reversal spell. Hurry up. Shush yourself. Shh. Quiet, please. Oops. And who is this? Ethel Hallholm with Spellbinder. Ah. Oh. I'm going to get you. This is all your fault, not mine. Get on with it! I don't believe it. Come on, find the reversal spell, idiot. Have you got the right page? Here it is, here it is. Humble, bumble, stumble, tumble, abracadabra, sni... Snickety snack stink. You're hopeless, Mildred Hubble. It's no good getting so cross, Ethel. Well, get a move on then. Humpty Dumpty, yak a yak. Hurry up. Hurry up yourself. Moon, stars, mist, and sun. Gazinga, gazanga, my spells undone. Oh, it hasn't worked. Your boots have come back. And your eyes are coming back. You're coming back, Ethel. I'm not, but I'm feeling rather strange. What's happening? <coughs> What's happening? What's happening? <gasps> You've been spellless, Mildred Hubble! My father's on the board of wizards. A member of the Scarlet Skeletons, and I'm gonna tell him what you did! I said I was sorry! It's gonna take more than strikes to get you off the hook! Oh, you're back. That's an improvement, Ethel, I think. We will all have our chance to meet the Grand Wizard. I must sit down for a moment. Have you any idea how many invitations the Grand Wizard receives on Halloween? We are the envy of every witch's academy in the world. Now, we've not a moment to lose. Our class has been selected to present the broomstick display. <gasps> Now, listen carefully. We shall begin in single file, each of you sinking and rising in an undulating serpentine formation. Then we shall move seamlessly into a large V, reminiscent of wild geese in flight. Our demonstration will proceed to a dramatic series of nosedives where we will swoop down and pull up our broomsticks a split second before hitting the ground. Finally, we shall fly in a graceful, I repeat, graceful Mildred circle. Broomstick to broomstick. Any questions? Good. Tryouts on Friday after school. The best eight flyers will be selected. And Mildred, you will have to radically improve to be even considered for the team. We've got time to practice. We'll show them. Well, at least HB can't say old oh, clumsy clogs isn't trying. Huh. <laughs> 
Good luck, Mill. Good luck. <laughs> Sinister sisters have potential. Good loop the loop. Six and a half. Apple hollow. Good control. Heels down. Fine posture. Ten out of ten. Zoe Chant Vestry, fluid style, rather wobbly nose dives, seven. Come on, Bubbles, keep your bottom down, seven. That's very good. Who's that? Oh, uh, Mildred Hubble, four. I'll go up and watch the horizon flyers. You watch the quadrangle. The following girls have been selected to play for the Cackle Academy's broomstick formation team. Ethel Hallow. Maud Warlock. Dawn Undercover Up. Gloria Hobgoblin. Sophie Hattrick. Natalie Sinister, Julie Vanishing, Zoe Chant Vestry. To those of you not selected, better luck next year. Where is Zoe Chant Vestry? Please, Miss Harbrum, she's in the infirmary. Miss Cackle says she's been at the laughter potion again. Indeed. Well, let's see who will take her place. Please, let me. Um, please, please. Mildred Hubble. Thank you, Miss Highbroom. This is a great responsibility, Mildred. But your hard work and dedication have not gone unnoticed. I am trusting you. Just a minute. What's that string doing in the middle of your broomstick? Oh, uh, an accident. It broke. Then use your spare. This is the only one I have. Uh, Miss Hardbroom, I have a spare broom. Mildred can borrow it. It's a very obedient broom. Thank you, Ethel. Run along and fetch it. It was a birthday present. Thank you, Ethel. Such fine school spirit. <laughs> it's me, stupid. <laughs> now, listen to me. And listen carefully. We're going to fix Mildred Hubble, once and for all. Fire and alabaster, gin rummy, canasta. When I say faster, I order disaster. Victory, I can already taste it. I can't even say it. <laughs> They'll be asleep till noon, exhausted from their celebration, unprotected, unsuspecting. <laughs> Prepare for action! Why so? If I can borrow the toad oil. Your hair looks really great. Yeah. Thanks. I use this super slime rinse. Go on, try some. I really worry about my nose. Don't you? I mean, do you ever think it'll get huge and sexy? Just like this one. Hey, why do people with noses like this ever kiss? They don't. <laughs> Here's your broom. Remember, I got it for a birthday present. Thank you, Ethel. It's very kind of you. Not at all. I'll take very good care of it. And it'll take very good care of you. Where 
busy. You know wizards, they're always late. Stop talking! <laughs> Wonderful night. <laughs> oh. I do wish my niece Donna wouldn't be so flashy. Do you think Big Daddy Wiz will like the rags? No. It's him! Yes, I can see him! Landing. It's great to be here with you young witches on this fabulous night. Remember, girls, show the world. Let them know it's Halloween. Hit it! I wouldn't change places with anyone tonight. We'll carve pumpkin faces and watch the witches flight. Every human heart will shudder. Every soul will shake with fear. Tonight, the creepiest. Tonight, the scariest. Tonight, the most wonderful night. Uh, oh. The Could turn into a cat. There may be a toad in your bass guitar, or your sister could turn into a bat. Christmas time brings the snow, summer time brings the sun. But on Halloween, your blood begins to run. Something spooky is going down. Better than a video Gremlin's gonna mess up Every cassette from London to Idaho April 1st can be fun New Year's Eve is a bore But on Halloween Your flesh begins to grow Oh, I'm losing control Could become a sardine Your dentist could turn into a queen Has anybody seen my tambourine? I may start playing Big in the beginning The craziest night you've ever seen This hairy, scary, creepy And what have you concocted for us this year, Miss Cackle? Welcome, welcome, oh, Grand Wizard. I am deeply honored, your honor. I... Uh, we're going to start with the broomstick formation. Let it begin. Girls! Red girls, mount! Oh, Miss Hardbroom. Your girls? Yes. Grand wizard. <laughs> I love it, Miss Hardbroom. Let's get this show on the road. 
<laughs> Top hell, Miss Hardbrook. Thank you, Grand Wizard. They could do with some more broom power. to trust you. You abominable child, Mildred. Get out of my sight! I, I know what you're thinking. You are to return to school at once. Go to bed without supper, and I'll see you in my office tomorrow at noon. Please, go! Oh, dear, dear, dear. This is terrible, Grand Wizard. I don't know what to say. If these are the witches of the future, I hate to think what the future will bring. What is this generation coming to? I've got a split. I've got another gig. But we've prepared a wonderful feast for you! I should have known Ethel would put a curse on that broomstick. But how can I prove it? Yeah. They'll just think it was me being my usual clumsy self. And Miss Cackle, she's just got to expel me now. She's got to. Tabby, we've got no choice. We've got to run away. Yeah.
bit of basil, a hint of rue, six lizards' tongues, four, five, six, and we'll be through. Yeah, you see him too, Tabby. <laughs> it is almost ready. Just a few minutes more, Miss Fasaki. For maximum strength, it needs to simmer. Oh, oh. Oh. <clears throat> I can hardly wait! Miss Cackle? It can't be. Is she wearing? We'll turn all those good little girls into toads and put them in here and trap Cackle and haunt them like rats! We must get them all! <laughs> no one must escape! Oh my gosh, they're plotting to take over the entire school, turn everyone into toads. In a few precious hours, it'll all be mine. Mine, the entire school, and everyone in it'll be under my spell. <laughs> There's got to be a counter spell here somewhere, Tab. <laughs> There's a stranger in our midst. <laughs> Yes, here. I'll turn them into snails. Snails, yes. Okay. Ishka Bibble. Ishka Boo. There she is. Shall we poke out her eyes? No. Mumbo Jumbo. Ickety Poo. Would you like to be a two-headed cockroach? Yeah, yeah, maybe I'm a little rusty. A uh, slimy earthworm would be better. No, soften her up with buckshot spells, Mr. Zaggy. <laughs> Spread it about! <laughs> Turn these witches into snails! We did it, Tabby! We did it! We really did it! We actually did it! in enough trouble already. Leaving school grounds without permission is a very serious offence indeed. <laughs> Milf is going to get it right between the eyes. What are you so happy about? My broomstick. It did the trick. What are you talking about? She just couldn't handle it. Oh, never mind. Just forget handle about it. what? Never mind. You put a curse on her. Don't be ridiculous. It was you all along. You're always picking on Mildred, but this time you've ruined it for all of us. I don't know what you're you talking evil about. You evil-hearted, mean-spirited, no good rotten pig! <gasps> this is very serious, Mildred. You know you're not allowed out of school without permission. Yes, but let me explain. She must be expelled. Let the child speak. Well? 
the witches. On the other side of the mountain, they are plotting to take over the entire school and turn everybody into toads. I don't believe a word of it. But I turned them into snails. You? Come now, Mildred. After last night's fiasco, how can you expect us to believe that? Because it's true. And the leader looked just like you, Miss Cackle. Only, only kind of ugly. Did she have a name? Someone called her Aggie. I think she's telling the truth. Sounds just like my wicked twin sister. May I have the box? Well, 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 Aggie. I wonder which one of these beauties you are. <laughs> Ask her to step forward. She must admit defeat. She'll never do that. Even as a child, she was never wrong. Then she must remain a snail. That's the rule. Do you hear that, Aggie? Now, step forward. Just look at you, Aggie. Crawling on your tummy. That's what you get for your evil ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, why don't you change them back, Mildred? Me? Uh, I'm not sure I can. Well, of course you can, dear. Of course you can, dear. I've been quite hard on you, Mildred. But I wouldn't have troubled if I hadn't always thought you had potential. Very well, then. I'll give it a try. On tongue nipples and nags, turn those snailies back to hags! <laughs> Forget this, sister. You've humiliated me for the last time. <laughs> ah, and you, how dare, how dare you ruin it all? Who just saw a pipsqueak like you gonna crush so wicked a witch as I? We'll do you for <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Shut up, Delilah! Shut up, Delilah! You must be very tired, dear. Now run along and get some rest. Now what in the name of Halloween do you think you are doing? Mildred! Mildred! Come on! Miss Cackle's waiting for you in the Great Hall. Maybe you should break a comb through your hair. Come, Mildred. Once in a purple moon, there is a special young witch who shines above the rest. Often she goes unnoticed because she's out of step. I have seen this girl trying to fly. Oh, yes, I have. 
I've watched her at play and seen how her friends treated her. The best witch isn't always the girl who comes out top of the tests. A true witch has witchcraft in her at all times. And this is what you have, Mildred Hubble. And so, Miss Cackle, I ask you to proclaim the rest of the day a half holiday. Of course, Grand Wizard. Half holiday! Now, Mildred, have you made any plans for this unexpected holiday? No, Grand Wizard. I suppose I'd better practice my flying. Would you like to practice with me? With you? Oh, absolutely. But the freckles stay. 